Taking the data from the user in any application is a very important part. And for doing that, we create the forms. When we work with forms, putting the validation is another very important role which ensures us that whatever data we are taking from the user is valid. So due to that, we have a topic here called validations which we can put through AngularJS. So here we'll see how we can use the CSS classes which is been provided by AngularJS and along with that, how can we put the validations. So here, as I said, like it will also provide us the CSS classes. So in AngularJS validations, will enrich the form filling, filling all right along with putting the validations so here we'll have different controls like text box drop down list on which you can put the validations using the angular js directives so first of all let's have a look for all the css classes which we have here like ng valid invalid pristine dirty touched and untouched when i talk about ng valid means it this class will be uh, in use in action whenever the value entered would be valid but as soon as you will put any invalid value you will get the invalid class similarly you have created a text box or a form in which you have not touched the value so far means you haven't changed the value even once so in that particular case it will be ng pristine which will be in action but as soon as you will change the value at least once it will be ng dirty now it is ng touched and untouched. In touched means when the focus is on the particular control, as soon as it is blurred, it will be ng untouched. So here is how we can put the uh, classes in action, right? Like here you can see we have used the ng valid, invalid, pristine and dirty classes along with some of the HTML tags like input that could be any HTML tag and form. All right, so let's see how this implementation will look like in real life. So here in this example, we'll discuss about the CSS classes provided by the AngularJS validations. So you can see that we have used the ng invalid and ng valid uh, classes for input tags, right? So here we'll be using input that is the text box. All right, so when we will enter any invalid value the background color of the text box will be yellow and as soon as we'll enter anything into it anything valid it will be lawn green similarly in with the form you, we can see like we have used the classes like ng pristine and ng dirty as long as we will not touch any of the control of a form it will be ng pristine so the background would be aqua and as soon as you will enter any value out there it will be like ng dirty right so here you can see like inside a form i have taken a heading and then a text box so let's see how the output will look like so here as you can see like the form background is aqua and the text box background is yellow as per the code right since it is invalid and in the text box we have said that it is required right so as long as you not enter anything it will be invalid and yellow will be the background as soon as i enter anything like tutorials point you see the background of text box becomes lawn green and that of the form becomes medium aquamarine as soon as i clear the text box again you see the form background will not change because now it is ng dirty but since now it is again invalid so it will be back to yellow so this is how you can decorate the forms using the AngularJS validation classes now once we are done with the validation css classes here we have some more control states like you can see there are similar things like valid invalid uh, dirty pristine touched and untouched they will help us out in putting the validations all right so let's see how this will be in action so here you can see i have taken a text box lock last name in which it is required i have used the required attribute along with that so in case whenever i want to show the validation message like last name is required what we have done we have put it in a span tag which is ng show all right so when it will be shown when 
there is an error right this error is another service which we use for putting the validations so this error which type of error is there if it is of required type because it, this text box is having uh, keeping it mandated to enter a value through the required attribute all right so as soon as it is required you will get this message in the next example in the next text box you can see like we have the in email text box input type is equal to email so now we will put two validations on that first thing that it is required and then it is of email type right so if uh, first of all you will have to enter a value and when you enter the value it must be in email format all right so these are the two validations which we are taking care of here so e error dot required and error dot email whatever error would be there the appropriate message will be shown to the user so let's see how this implementation will be in action so here in this example we'll see how can we pass the validations in any form created in HTML using AngularJS. So we'll start from this script file where we have taken three properties inside a controller that is the first name, last name and email and we have bind it inside the function called reset where we'll be setting it to blank. Now let's come to our web page where we have already used the angular.js our base script file along with our just created script.js file. Here you will find some style sheet uh, things right but we are not focusing on that. So let's go to the main content like here we have used the ng app the module name and the ng controller whatever the controller name we have created right there that is form controller and here we have taken the three fields like in the first name we have taken the text box right with the three requirements like the minimum length is 3, maximum length is 15 and it is required. Alright, so these are the three things which we will be checking right here for the first name. You can see the model here which we have bind here for called first name with N in caps. So, uh, you can see like here I have taken a main span which will be taking a color red for all the three. Any validation which is required the each respective span will be in action for example if it is for the required this is the error right so if it the error is for the required this span will be in action if error is for the minimum length this span and if the error is for the max length this particular span will be in action and will show the respective error message similarly in the last name there is just one requirement that it is required so as soon as you will enter anything the error messages will be gone but unless and until you will enter it will keep on showing you that last name is required since here we have passed the required error message all right and similarly in the email first thing is the email id is required and it should be in the email format so to check that we have taken the email as a type right it is not a normal text box it is input type is email so that if you will enter anything which is not in an email format it will be uh, rejected right so uh, let's come in details so two requirements are here one is it is required and second one is it in it should be in email format so here if it is required error this message would be there and if it is email means the format error then this particular message will be in action all right which we have bind in the single span tag now there is a reset button where we are calling the reset function which we have defined in this controller that is the reset all right so as soon as you will click on that it will uh, make all the three text boxes clear and you can see i have used ng disable with the submit button where we have used the or operator means if any of the condition is uh, there means if any validation is true uh, for the form like whether it's for the first name or the last name of for the email if anything is invalid our button will be disabled unless and until all the three fields are properly filled up so let's see it in action so here we have these three fields which with the particular uh, messages like first name is required last name is required and email so as soon as I will start entering any name right it is saying it is too short at least three characters were required right so now the message is gone all right last name thus just one validation that it is required all right and in email 
first thing it is required and second thing it should be in the format right so it is saying that invalid email address and you can see that submit button is still disabled all right so contact at tutorials point dot com right so now all the error messages are gone and even my submit button is enabled all right so this is how you can apply some validations on the client side using the angular js